tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The Gazelle is getting an iPad. Hooray! The next stop in beta is just around the corner. Normandy 2.0 map is getting more features. And Miko Plus is cooking something revolutionary. Yes, and more on how I play. Ah. Hello Virtual Pilot, I'm Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to take a look at the latest developments in DCS world. Things are quiet on the DCS front. This one is going to be a short one. We are waiting for the next open beta patch, if not already here by the time we publish this video. The upcoming enhancements to Normandy 2.0 will include the addition of new routes and objects as well as existing scene improvements. We will get new factories, a new port, fishing boats, underground tunnels in Paris, as well as new tram lines and wooden piers in London. The radar towers, ports and airfields are also being improved, as well as the terrain and the lightning of objects. All these changes aim to improve a better and more accurate experience. Well, I am still having issues with my performance in VR with this new map when flying the Blue Nose Bastards of Botany by Reflected. It may be something to do with my system, but previously it was smooth and nice. Now my frames are dropped even in the empty version. We'll need to test further and for now I continue the campaign in 2D. And that's that. Oh, and by the way, no Barak is not a skill issue. Moving on, ED is working on a new pilot model for the Viper that will provide more realism and immersion when flying the module. We saw some screenshots of this entirely new and highly detailed model. So it may be news for some of you that the Gazelle by Polychop Simulations is about to get a big update with new features. Celric Aviation produced a video showcasing all information about this and Polychop hopes they can deliver this update very soon. I link the video showcase in the description down below. It's great news for helicopter enthusiasts that own or looking to get into the rotor side of DCS. Yes, welcome to the dark side of the DCS. Uh, Petrovich? Yeah, never mind. The Gazelle will receive a new flight model or better said improvements to it and check this out. An iPad tablet thingy, as our hip crew guys call it. Yeah, iPad and meanwhile I am still stuck with my Nokia. And yes, in truth I can use it as a weapon, bottle opener, hammer, you name it. We will keep track on the news as it develops, cannot say too much now. Meanwhile, sticking with helicopters in mind, Micropros just teased on social media a message showcasing the Apache with the quote, a new era is coming. Well, 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 I hope we are about to find out very soon what this is all about. Micropros has been on a winning streak in new releases and they always provide quality content for gaming. So seeing an Apache gives us hope for something special. So now we continue to wait for the open beta patch for DCS World. Fingers crossed it may happen anytime soon. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Remember to check our sponsor VR Rock for your VR blue light protection and prescription lenses. If you want to participate in our Sinai map giveaway, we're still waiting on that one as well. Yes, more information in the video description. Many thanks to our Patreons that support our channel, our hip crew and everybody involved on the Discord. Very soon I'll have my wedding, so stay tuned for some special shots on our Discord. Ok, enough yapping. Uh, remember to leave us a like if you find the video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time. Uh, Na Natasha, can I get an iPad? No, Petrovich. Uh...